This is a CBS 4 News update. Shabazi with the CBS 4 News update. The high school student arrested last week for trying to perform a pro wrestling move on his principal was back in front of a judge this morning after he was arrested again. 18 year old Gianni Sosa Hernandez is now charged with criminal Sosa mischief Hernandez. for what police say he did at the Where Falls Shopping Center in Southwest so Miami Dade. Investigators say while looking into his social media history, they found video of Sosa taking an alligator that was on display and throwing it in the water and then jumping in himself. He faces other charges in connection with that incident. President Trump officially has a Republican challenger in the 2020 race. It's former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld. He made the announcement uh, on CNN yesterday saying, quote, the voices of the American people are being ignored and our nation is suffering. Weld was on the Libertarian Party ticket in 2016 as the vice presidential nominee. He says he would not run as an independent if he does not get the Republican nomination. And the Boston Marathon features runners with all kinds of stories. Everyone has his or her own motivation for what pushes them across the finish line. During yesterday's race, a Marine veteran was determined to make it to the end no matter what it took. Micah Hernan is an Afghanistan veteran and his knees locked out at mile 22, but he said he would complete the marathon even if it meant getting on his hands and knees. He says he did it for three comrades he lost in a bombing attack. He had their names written on his hand. Now, CBS4 weather. And I'm Craig Setzer in CBS4 Weather Control. Nice area of high pressure and control of our weather today, giving us the very, I would go as far as to say, exceptionally nice weather. Blue skies, comfortable temperatures, low humidities. As we go into your Wednesday, not much change. Once again, plenty of blue skies, a little bit warmer temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Then the warm up continues, a chance for some showers on Thursday, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Friday warmer yet, highs in the upper 80s to around 90 and a chance for some storms developing, especially later in the day. And then Friday night, a cold front comes through, cooling us off again for the weekend. Drier sun, 60s at night. Daytime highs will be around 80 degrees. It's looking fantastic for the weekend. Numbers wise, a warming trend in through Friday and then the weekend for Easter, looking very, very nice. Ruta Bay. Thank you, Craig, and that's our news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, and 11, and 7 for all of today's important headlines.